This is our XTM firewall. In a typical environment, in a network environment, the the solution should be uh, approximately as the one that I will be showing you right now. And I'm going to be drawing all this so you can understand uh, the difference between external, uh, trusted, and uh, optional interfaces. So this is our XTM, this is our firewall. So in front of the firewall it should be our ISP router connected into our firewall. This is an external so basically this is our external this is our external interface let's say that this interface is with an IP of four six two one five five dot one dot twenty to 120 sorry so this is our internet actually the external uh, interface is most probably it's the uh, internet connection is the one connection so this is our um, ISP modem router internally let's take this port here this is our trusted What is a trusted? As I explained before, trusted is the network that our uh, our let's say corporate environment it's uh, configured. So a trusted it should be a connection to our internal switch. This is a switch. Okay. Now on this switch we have computers users. So this is our users. Also, in the trusted, we can have servers as well. Like file servers. Or like, let's say, our accounting server. So this is our typically trusted this is our trusted environment. So we have the external which is the internet and we have the trusted. Let's do an optional one. Let's say this is another switch. On this switch we can have, actually this is the optional one, the optional one it's a network that we want to separate from our trusted because we don't trust it. It can be an FTP server, it can be a web server. It can be a mail server.
so basically we are using the optional uh, network for the environment we have that we don't trust it for example if somebody let's say for some reason hack our FTP server we want this network to be isolated so our trusted would be protected by any intrusions so basically this is the three ways we can configure the uh, network interface of the XTM device is external one which actually is the internet and let me tell you that uh, for external devices you can configure up to four up to four one or external interfaces this is the maximum number you can configure on an XTM device up to four one external interfaces for for the rest of the ports you can you can configure as you like you know you can choose trusted or optional uh, also don't forget that the, on the XTM you can configure uh, VLANs for example you, take it, you can take a port a VLAN and you can configure it as a VLAN and then you can use many VLANs as VLANs you know like uh, one VLAN two VLAN three actually in each VLAN you can uh, choose to be an optional or a trusted so you have huge flexibility on the network interfaces on uh, on a watch card uh, device so continuing I would like to uh, also complete with saying that each interface on the XTM device can connect to a different network the computers and servers protected by the device can use either private or public IP addresses the device uses a network address translation as a NAT to route traffic from the external network to computers on the trusted and optional networks so this is it so we have the external IP address we have the trusted which we can give it as a let's say 172 10 and the optional we can give an IP address something like Slash twenty four, let's say dot zero slash twenty four. So let's clean up the mess and do it again. We are back in our Windows environment. Let's get our hands dirty and let's do some demonstrations. We are on the Washcard system manager and we're about to connect to the amazing XTM device box to configure the fantastic network interfaces let's connect to the beautiful device uh, I'm tapping the, the uh, read only password and we're connected on our watch card XTM it's a virtual appliance Now, we really, really need to have in mind that each interface on the XTM device can connect to a different network. The computers and servers protected by the device can use either private or public IP addresses. The device uses network address translation as a NAT to route traffic from the external network to computers on the trusted and optional networks. How cool is that, guys? and ladies of course all devices behind the trusted and optional interfaces must have an IP address from the network assigned to that interface to access the network configuration we really need to click on the network tap 
menu on the top and then click to the configuration. As you can see, we are running the interfaces in the mixed routing mode. This is the 99% of the environment that you're going to be working on. This, in this environment, in the mixed routing mode, you are going to be having the all oh, the juicy, nice, beautiful, fantastic the goodies of Washcard XTM can offer to you. So, based on this, mixed routing mode is what the XTM training is all about and also the certification exams are really, really based on the mixed routing mode. I'm going to be saying this again and again so you will understand that we are following the XTM training guide with many examples with many add-ons that came out of really, really endless hours spending on configuring, maintaining, and administrative watchcard XTM devices.